Hey y'all, thanks for coming to kick it with me, Nikki Nick. And today we're gonna do something fun. Today I'm gonna make peanut butter soup with no recipe, no measurements, just based off of memory. Just based off what I've seen my OG do in passing. You see, my mama be thinking I don't be paying attention. She's always like, you need to come and sit here with me and learn how to make this. Because I'm not going to always be making it for you. And little do she know that I really be peeping seeing, like I really be paying attention to the stuff that she does. Like, I'm pr I'm pretty observant person and she don't realize that. So, she's going to see today. So for ingredients, we have peanut butter. Usually she uses natural, but that's what we had in house, so yeah. You need some salt, you need you some tomatoes. Tomatoes is like key in all Ghanaian recipes. You need you some tomato paste, you need you some chicken bouillon, you need you some ginger, you need you some garlic, and you also need you some onions. So yeah, we're gonna get this busted. Oh, what does that say? Next, you're also gonna need some chicken. You gonna need you some chicken, and this is not that regular, regular chicken that you are gonna see at um at the grocery store. Your grocery store aisle. This is from the butcher. Like they gonna chop that chicken to pieces. They gonna pull that whole chicken and they gonna ask you, how you want to chop? You gonna be like, I want to chop it. X, Y, Z, blase, blase. So you really need to clean this chicken. I've heard some people say like, you don't clean your chicken because it spreads more bacteria. I'm not trying to hear that. Okay, I'm not trying to hear that. Science. They be like, oh, it's science and da 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 But you know what? Science also came up with eugenics. And we saw how correct that was. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my chicken. Because you really cannot play with this chicken. Like like I said, it's not your regular regular chicken that you're going to see at the grocery store. Like, you got to clean this. And you're going to see. Also, this, the next part when I'm like cleaning, cleaning in depth, it can be a little gruesome. So beware. So I'm just going to wash it some. I didn't show like the full gist of cleaning the chicken. Because I actually cleaned it for a while. I was like, y'all not gonna wanna see me just rubbing on this chicken, tapping down this chicken. But yeah, you can add a little bit of um vinegar. We don't got vinegar, we don't got like um distilled in the house. We have some apple cider vinegar, so like that just had to do. I just pour some out. But like I said, this is not the full process. You gotta really for real clean this chicken. This is step two clean the chicken. Get you a little bag. Every little black household got them a little cup board of bags. So just random plastic bags when you need them. So you're going to get you one and you're going to clean your chicken and like put the little particles in the bag so it's easy to throw away when you're finished. So this is going to be slightly gruesome. Like if you got a weak stomach, I don't know if this is for you. I kind of got a weak stomach, but I was able to do this. So I don't know if to each his own. We're going to see. You have to really get in there and clean this chicken. Like I said, well, again, I'm going to say one more again. This is not your regular degular chicken. You really got to get in there and clean it. I usually always cut fat off the chicken regardless. But, like, there's, like, some, um, some, like, guts parts in there, too. Like, you're going to see. There's also a chicken head. I didn't show a chicken head because I didn't want to traumatize y'all too much. Cause like, like I said, they literally chopped the whole chicken. I didn't put the chicken head in the soup. I threw it in the garbage because who wants the chicken head in their soup? But I like cut off some of the little little feather particles, give it a little line up. <laughs> Cause it really do be like a few little, you know, pluck plucks around. So I just went ahead and chopped that off. I'm chopping the fat. I'm showing y'all this part. If you don't want to see it, of course, skip past it. But you see those nasty guts? I'm showing y'all this because I need to emphasize like clean your chicken. Cause you'll mess around and not clean that chicken well and you'll be <laughs> you'll see. You'll see. My OG said like if you don't cook um, peanut butter soup well you can like mess around and get diarrhea so I'm like we don't want diarrhea so I'm just up in there getting in that thing or giving in them creases and crevices we clean out those little blood clots and little random your days up in there yeah I was like I was like needing to make this video like I had this idea in my mind and I was like I need to get it done like I literally started cooking this at like almost 10 o'clock because it was like on my mind I was like my spirits will not find peace if I do not film this right now so I filmed it so here goes your clean chicken all washed all like nasty stuff cut out and scoot out and now I'm gonna like chop up the like little um vegetable parts of things that's gonna essentially go into um it's essentially gonna go into the cooking the meat when you cook the meat you're pretty much gonna boil the meat with all these little spices so here I'm gonna chop it up I love the little choppy parts because I don't know why do people cut stuff up is pretty soothing to me so <laughs> Here's your little, it's not ASMR, what is visual ASMR? So V, SMR, I don't know. This is just me chopping them onions, you know. Chop, 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 chop. Ooh, this is gonna be a little shaky. Hey, 
my knife is not the sharpest knife. I don't know. We didn't change our knives. Like, I bought my mama a set of new knives, like, I don't know, like a year ago. And she has still not decided to open them. So, I guess we just not going to use them. And I'm just going to use my regular knives. But, yeah, I just went ahead and chopped them into some nice pieces. I don't really think you have to chop it super dice. Even me, like, the text, I don't know. I like onions, but, like, if onions are, like, cut, like, you know, those long, stringy pieces, in this context, I wouldn't like them. So, I, like, kind of chopped it up into some nice cubes. They get really soft, so, like, of course, it's not going to be, like, super noticeable in your soup. Oh, look at that. All diced together. Mm, okay. So, now, as you see, I'm going to, like, grab it and shift over. What I'm doing is I'm putting all the seasonings in the, um, the pot with the chicken. So as you see me doing this little shift and putting something over there, I'm putting the spices into the pot with the chicken. Also, sorry for flashing my little um, my little red Calvin Klein's on y'all. I, I I was not aware like my shorts was bagging that hard when I was doing this, but I guess they were. Now you gonna get your garlic. You gonna peel that garlic. Go ahead and peel that garlic, girl. Okay. How I put my garlic is I chop the little little hard part at the end and I chop a little bit of the tip and it peels pretty easily. Like that, okay. Peel that thing up. Yeah, peel that thing. Peel that thing up. Mommy, break it raw. Break it. Peel, peel. Da, 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 da. I only peel like a few. I like the. I'm like showing all this like process. I didn't like cut cut too much because I figured some people might want to make this. This is not a dish that you would actually make for real, for real. If you're not of this ethnicity. Oh, by the way, let me let me tell y'all the background of what peanut butter soup is. Y'all probably heard peanut butter soup and was like, what is that? I probably should explain this in the beginning, but oh wait, you see how I'm smashing that um garlic? That's so that it like stable. It's like stable as I like kind of like dice it up. You see how it kind of dices up more easily like that. That's why I did that. But anywho, um, peanut butter soup is a Ghanaian food. It's a type of soup. Ghanaians have like multiple soups that we eat with like random sources of carbs together and peanut butter soup i heard my og says that like when people are trying Ghanaian foods for the first time they like um they like peanut butter soup a lot i'm like okay so i just went ahead and made it we eat this a lot we've had this in our, our house a lot this is my older brother's like i think favorite low-key like when he had he had like came home for a minute because he had gone to accident so he was with us and like when he came home my og was making a lot of peanut butter soup because like that's his favorite i like it too I like it too. Me personally, I think my goaded soup might be okra soup. That's I think that's my goal. Now I am um, what you call it. I'm like getting the skin off of the ginger. You see how I'm scraping it? I am not peeling it. Okay. Do not let your immigrant OG or I don't know if it's for everybody, but I know my African mom do not like me peeling any ginger. I remember she called me once. She's like, "What are you doing? Do you not have sense to peel your ginger? You're just wasting it." So here I am. Even though she's not even around, I'm still grating it because you know. <laughs> It's just it's still in my head like to grate it. So now I finna um what I do is I just gonna rinse it off real quick. I know I you might thought I was gonna just put it in the pot now I'm rinsing it off. I'm about to chop it up some more. So pretty much you're gonna see me smash it in the way that I kinda smash the garlic. Oh wait, no, first I'm chopping it first. Then I'm gonna smash it. You see me? Ooh, look at that, putting that, you know, that little strength into the put a little arm into chopping that ginger. I, you know that's cool? I learned that um I learned that little smash method. I was watching a video of um, somebody cooking bulldog, and apparently, I don't know, I probably just butchered that pronunciation, but it's a type of Korean food, and it looked fine. I had tried it at a restaurant before, and I'm like, why are you trying to make this? And I was just Googling it, and I saw somebody making it, so of course I was gonna watch, even though I wasn't even gonna make it at the time, I was just like, I'm gonna watch this. And she had like smashed down on the like ginger like that, and I'm like, Girl, you just did some. So I started doing it because it made a lot of sense. And it's like easier to chop up like garlic and ginger that way. So I was like, okay, the more you know. I love learning random stuff. I love learning new things. So I'm just going ahead, chopping up that ginger. Now, I usually would have blended ginger, but I didn't, it was late and I didn't want to just be cutting off the, um, cutting up the blender as much like too much like i wanted to use a blender as little as possible so i was like i would just hold it off because usually i would end up blending the ginger i ended up adding a little bit of onion see look if look i need y'all to gauge the measurements with your eyes because you're not gonna hear no for real measurements and i'm sorry but let's just say this is a whole onion that i use so i added some like the first little big part was like maybe three thirds of onion and then here goes the one extra third because i was like i think this needs a little onion so i just added some more 
Chop, chop, chop. Dice, dice, dice. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, uh. Do it up there. Dice. Up there. Ba -da -ba 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 -da 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 dice. Okay, come on, girl. Hurry up. Dice the monies. Now you're going to add it to the pot. Like, done. Go ahead and add it up in there. Now we done with that. Chop it apart. So now we're going to, um, we're going to boil the meat with some seasonings. So you got all the, like, you know, you got your ginger, your onions. Now we're going to add the bouillon. Like I said, <laughs> I ain't got no measurements, so gauge it with your eyes. I'm going to say that's like, I'm going to say that's like maybe two to three tablespoons, I think. Pretty much you just got to, for me, I just let the ancestors guide me. And when the ancestors say, I don't need no more salt, I don't need more salt. See, look, the answer just told me, girl, you need a little more salt. So I had a little more. <laughs> like I said, like, you just feel it in your spirit when you need to add and you don't need to add. Also, as it boils and, like, it cooks some more and it, like, cooks, then you could kind of taste a little water if you need to add more salt. But do not taste it right now because you will mess around and get salmonella. But as it cooks through, you know, like, oh, maybe I should add a little more. You know, I didn't really check it. I kind of just knew it was going to be fat because I told y'all the answer. So there's nothing guide in my head. So pretty much you're gonna let this boil down to like about when the water is gone halfway. So now I'm gonna start on the peanut butter. I got the little Skippy. Like I said, my OG user uses like a natural Skippy, but that's where we have this big old tub. So I'm like, I'm gonna use this big old tub. Once again, I don't got no measurements for you, so gauge it with your eyes. <laughs> gauge it with your eyes. I think, let's see, let's see how much I use. One big dollop, two big dollops? Is it gonna be three big dollops? Let's see. So that's looking like maybe a cup and a half. That might be a cup and a half, I think, if I like pushing it in there. Or maybe actually not even a cup and a half. If you like pack it in there, that might be like a good cup, a good packed on cup. So you're kind of supposed to let that kind of cook and fry. This, the peanut butter is where I was most skeptical because I don't usually do the peanut butter. Like, I don't see her when she does it. But now we have the tomatoes. Usually you would boil your tomatoes in there so the skin will kind of separate from the tomato. You can peel it easier. But for some reason, the skin was already kind of peeled. I took the tomatoes out the freezer, so maybe that's why. So I just boiled the peppers because right, the tomatoes are already good. I think that was like that because it, the tomatoes were originally frozen because we was not going to let those go to waste. So we froze them like some time ago. So look how nice they peeling for me. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at it. It's coming out them clothes like that. Who you trying to seduce? Who you trying to seduce tomatoes? Who you trying to seduce? But see how nice that's peeling. That would that's this is how it would look if you was to have boiled it. I don't think my OG boiled it. I don't think she did before she froze it. I don't I don't see why she would. I don't know. But they peel really nice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Satisfying to the eyes. Ooh, go ahead, girl. Go ahead. Come about them clothes. Ooh, wee. Look at my little bogus transition. Boop! Ah. So I blended the peppers and the tomatoes all together. And now I'm gonna just go ahead and um this is not this is not what an OG African would do. I've never seen this, but I tried it. Because I heard when you because you know when you make roast beef, not hurt, but when you make roast beef or pot roast, if you put some in there, it like makes the meat tender. So I was like, maybe it'll work with the chicken. Because African chicken is harder than regular chicken. So I was like, maybe that would work with the chicken. So I just add a little bit in there. It's not enough to taste. Like, you wouldn't be able to taste it, but I just wanted to see if, like, the science would work in this situation as well. So, but oh, don't be alarmed. Africans that actually know what they're doing and see me, don't be alarmed. It did not mess it up in any type of way. See, look, I was getting nervous with the peanut butter because, like I said, I don't really usually see my OG making the peanut butter part. I just kind of see it in the past. And, uh, so, I'm adding a little bit of um some tin tomatoes, as they would say. I put like maybe like a good big tablespoon in there. You don't need too much. You never want too much um, tomato paste. They like to say it, too much is not good for you. So I just throw it in there. I added a little bit of water to the peanut butter at some point. I don't know if it was before I added tomato paste or not. But I just added a little bit to kind of like stir the peanut butter to smooth it out. Because like you saw, it was kind of chunky and I was nervous because I was like, oh, I hope it's going to come out okay. Because if I break up the peanut butter, that they go the whole soup right there like. So I was like, ooh, let's see, let's see. So I just kind of started out to make sure it was kind of, I don't know, child, I just started out, see if it's going to be smooth, see if it's going to 
be okay. I, li- I cooked it a little bit longer before I added it. Oh yeah, side so note, if you want to preserve your um, tomato paste, put some oil and salt on top of it. It'll keep it for a minute if so it doesn't spoil too fast. That's something my OG taught me. So I had transferred the um, chicken into a bigger bowl. The chicken, the water had boiled down, so it was like half water left than what I started with. So this was a moment of truth for I added the peanut butter and I did not know if it was gonna, you know, blend together. I didn't know, I was nervous. So we gonna say, I was nervous, okay? So I put it in there, scoop, scoop, scoop. Stir, stir, stir. Sister, this was like, this was starting to be the moment of truth. Cause I didn't know what would have happened if it didn't work. I probably would have found a way to finesse it cause I am a master finesse, so you know, whatever. But I was kind of nervous, so I was stirring it. And it was actually starting to like, blend in there oh child i'm getting uncomfortable in this chair what's a good setup what's a good setup for your um voiceover stuff because i have this big old isolation shield so i'm like sitting weird so i can see my screen and it's hurting my neck but see it's it's starting in there pretty nicely and i was like oh thank god so i'm adding my blended tomato and pepper in there yes i added how many peppers i added i added three peppers it came out pretty spicy i love spicy food oh i love spicy foods Ooh, I love spicy foods. But yeah, I added three peppers. Gage, how much pepper you want to add? It's your choice. I don't know. If you don't like spicy foods, then I don't know what to tell you. But you see, it's 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 blending in there nicely. I'm stirring it. They come in a blended family. Blended. I added some water. I think I added about, once again, no measurements. But I put it in a cup, and like I saw the cup, it might be like three cups. It's one of those kind of longer type of cups. It might be like... In equivalent to like three cups, I think. But see how it's smooth together. Woo! I'm sorry that was loud, but woo, my chest. I was like, thank goodness, because if it didn't work, I was gonna be fucked up. I mean, I was gonna be messed up. So I stirred it all together nicely, and I let it boil a little longer. How much longer? I let it. I think I let it like kind of simmer. Oh, you see how it's swimming into that? You see how it's swimming into the spoon all smooth like that? Yeah, thumbs up. Cause I was like, yeah, it went together. So I boiled it a little longer for I think like maybe 20 minutes I let that thing simmer. Put the top on it. I let it do its thing. I came back to check on it to see what it was looking like. Ooh. There you go. There you have it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Brown and tan and really delicious. The soup from Ghana really scrumptious. And when I taste it every time, I taste it, it goes. Ah, yes. Ooh, wee, ooh. So, this is the next day because I had finished making that soup at like one o'clock and I was tired of it to sit down. So, this is the final result. I had made some, um, rice balls some people eat it with fufu but i think peanut butter soup hits harder with rice balls like the rice balls just be sucking up the house and now deliciousness it's really good what does it taste like what does it taste like sir it's like mom if you have people in my older videos where i was taste testing um this is the brother that'd be like oh it's okay now this is the brother that's gonna give you the reaction (laughs) 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 don't even say that (laughs) Yeah, that voice of that thing hit. Mind, this is the brother that's gonna give me a reaction. I'm looking for my other brother. Like He's just like, it's cool. It's okay. She is. Mm-hmm. With this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That man is strong, Lily. I'm sorry, Mom. You good with the rice, Mom? Sorry, Mom. We have a new champion in the house. Don't even do that. <laughs> 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 Don't even do that. Don't even do that. Don't even do that. Now I'm gonna make something cute. Y'all gonna see. Look, it's gonna be so cute. I have seen it. I think I saw it on Instagram. So I'm gonna put a little soup in the bowl. Like this. Oh, okay. yeah. I wish I would have wiped that little dot off. I know y'all pissed off seeing it too. I am. I am as well. I wish I would have seen it and wiped it. But it is what it is. Watch this. This is gonna be so cute. You're gonna see. You're gonna see. Watch this. It's gonna be so cute. Watch this. Wait for it. Oh, ooh, see the little chicken. See that chicken thigh just put in the bowl like that. Mm-hmm. It's cute, isn't it? Ah! I did. I think usually they use like seaweed for like the eyes and stuff, but I didn't have that, so I had to finesse with um pepper, cause you already know I'm a master finesse, uh, big stepper, big flexer, uh, got drip, ooh, kung fu feeling dip, protect on the wrist, ooh, 
But yeah, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. This is not the video. If you, I guess maybe if you can, if you can somehow learn from it, you can somehow learn from it. But I still thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had fun seeing this. I, I hope you can try to figure it out by watching it. I think you could. It's not that difficult. I think the hardest part was um cleaning the chicken. To be honest with you, and um I think the hardest part was cleaning the chicken and grating the ginger. Those are the hardest parts. Also, I let the um, meat, the meat took a minute to boil. The meat took like three hours to boil on low key. That's probably why it took me so long to make it because the meat took a while to boil. But it's not that difficult. But anywho, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell me what you might want to see more of. And that's it for today's video, guys. Bye-bye. Uh,